if cocoa varieties are moved from one country to another, then it, it's absolutely vital that it, it, it undergoes um, intermediate quarantine. The reason why we have a quarantine facility here in the UK is um, we don't grow, grow co cocoa here, and so there's no danger of um, endemic pests and diseases of cocoa ent entering the facility. It's actually a requirement of, of some cocoa growing countries that if they receive new varieties in, in, into their country, it must have undergone intermediate quarantine in um, a temperate country beforehand. The largest cocoa producer is Cote d'Ivoire followed by Ghana. Um, those two countries both face similar sort of pest and disease problems, so particularly cocoa swan shoot virus and a fungal disease called black pod. Um, the third biggest producer is um, Indonesia, and there they have a, a different fungal disease called vascular street dieback. Um, they also have black pod, and they have a, a particular um, insect pests called um, cocopod borer. So as the name suggests, cocopod borer burrows it, its way into, into the pods and can um, ruin the beans. OK, so this is a bud stick. Um, potentially, that could produce six plants just from that one stick. So it's a very effective method of transporting potential plants around the world. Um, you can literally potentially fit hundreds in a jiffy bag. Um, so what we do, we're literally going to cut an elongated rectangle into the piece of wood. And that potentially is now going to be the plant. So I gently tease this away from the stick. It's important to keep it in one piece, so gently as possible. And then just remove anything from inside, like so. And that potentially is the new plant. Just that tiny little thing there, barely an inch long. Um, now what I'll be doing is cutting almost exactly the same shape into this plant, which is going to be the host. So we're cutting again the elongated rectangle in, slightly longer this time, so I'm going to need a little tab. This piece now is going to replace that as close as we possibly can. Perfect. Hopefully, in two weeks' time, we'll, um, we'll get a successful graft here. Um, that will be unraveled and we'll know instantly whether it's taken or not. If it's taken, great. Um, it can be part of the initial collection. Um, and I've got one here that we grafted in June this year. So that's just over six months old. And it's been really successful. It's a really happy plant. And it's really obvious that the, the graft is taken. Yeah. 